Hi readers, if you're here, it's because you've chosen to work on reading today. Good for you. Your job then is to pick a reading goal that you can work on and read, 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 and read some more. On our second slide, you will see a chart that should look familiar to you. We've worked on these strategies for several years and we definitely use this chart at the beginning of the year. If you are somebody who's working on decoding your words and climbing the hurdle of hard words, you might pick one of these strategies to really work out. If you're somebody who wants to work specifically on a nonfiction goal, these charts are here to help you. If you are not seeing something that you really like on these charts, you might click here for a reading progression. You will open a new link that looks like this. And it's going to be a long document. It's actually four pages. I do not, and no teacher would, expect you to work on all of these strategies today. That's a lot. You might think about one thing you're working on from here. So if you're working on your comprehension, you might go to the literal comprehension section and say, ooh, orienting. Let's see, before I read, I preview the text. I also study this table of contents, if there is one, the title, introductions, headings, and subheadings, and illustrations. I do this to decide what to read and also to predict the major subtopics I will learn about. I also notice if this is an expository or a narrative nonfiction, like biography, text to organize myself to get started learning from the text. Hmm. So you think like, first I'll probably learn, then I think I'll learn. So if you're working on previewing, this might be what you pick. Maybe you do that really well and you wanna go down to fluency. You wanna make sure that the reading voice inside of your head helps you to understand the text. So you're gonna pick from any one of these things on this four page document. But maybe you are not thinking about a nonfiction goal. Maybe today you're gonna to think of a fiction goal. Well, we have two charts here for you. And just like we had that nonfiction learning progression, there's one for fiction as well. So when you click on that link, you'll see another document. This time it's five pages, but again, you should not be worrying about doing all of these things. Pick just one, maybe two, and say, hmm, you know what? I think I need to really track the story elements. I need to think about what's happening and how much time goes by in a story. And I need to think like what the setting is and, and what the plot is. And you might pick that, or maybe you'll pick just this or just a retelling. It's your choice readers. So have fun picking a goal that you know will make you the strongest reader you can possibly be. We'll see you for more reading tomorrow.